Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create deep connection and trust. So when couples get stuck in the power struggle phase, there are usually two different um, sort of personalities that we might fall into, certain behaviors that we may fall into. One of them I call a hailstorm. Okay, this is the person, it might be you, it might be your spouse, but it's the person who tends to bring up the things that aren't working in the relationship. So maybe you bring it up lovingly, maybe you complain, maybe criticize, nag, you know, micromanage, uh, passive aggressive comments, um, anger, yelling, threatening right, whatever shape or form that might take, it basically is the person who brings up that something isn't working. That's the hailstorm. And I call it a hailstorm because to your partner, it feels like a kind of, like a hailstorm, right? Like, like um, pellets. All the words feel too overwhelming and it feels like a pellet of complaints. Okay, so that's the hailstorm. The other person often is the turtle. The turtle, and again, that might be you or your partner, but the turtle is the person who tends to, as soon as they recognize that, you know, the other person might be going into their hailstorm, right? Maybe they sense it through some facial expressions of their partner, or maybe they just smell it in the air, right? <laughs> Once you're with someone for a period of time, you can tell when something is starting to feel off. So once the turtle senses that something is off and thinks that a hailstorm is about to start, he or she will start shutting down. They'll, like a turtle, go into their shell, right? That's what a turtle does to, to self-protect. So a turtle might do this by spacing out by um, you know, minimizing and saying, oh, it's not a big deal, or rushing to problem solving, or um, you know, staying out, or withdrawing, or refusing to discuss the topic, saying, you're just, you're so dramatic. You know what, I don't wanna talk about this anymore. Or withdrawing and going off into your man cave, or hanging out with your girlfriends more, um, spending time on the weekends playing golf or, you know, any number of ways that we exit the relationship to be able to not have to deal with attention, right? So that's the turtle. Now, the important thing here is neither one is better or worse than the other. Both parties are doing whatever they know to do to deal with the discomfort in the relationship, right? This person is pursuing, wants to fix it, but the way that they bring things up and the way they try to pursue is actually causing this turtle to shut down even more. And every time the turtle shuts down even more, the hailstorm person feels more alone, more hurt, more frustrated. It feels like if I don't bring things up, none of this will ever get resolved. And I have to chase my partner to be able to come up with any solutions, right? So every time the turtle shuts down, the hailstorm actually gets, feels worse. So in the end, you end up triggering each other back and forth. Neither is better or worse. It's a toxic cycle that you're stuck in, okay? Now, in the power struggle phase, what is the underlying fear is for both people, they're not so sure that they are a priority for the other person, that they are um, admired, respected, loved for who they are, despite their flaws, that they are your priority. So the question in your mind and in your spouse's mind when you get into the power struggle is, are you there for me? Can I count on you? Am I your number one? Are you going to hurt me? Are you going to use my flaws against me? Okay, so that's really important to know because then you can 
you can um, tailor your your behavior to be able to soothe that in each other. And there are different ways to do that depending on your on your unique relationship. Now here's another important tip that you can start using tonight. Whether you're the hailstorm or the turtle, I want you to think about what is the underlying fear in each of these um, different roles, okay? If you're the turtle, oftentimes your underlying fear tends to be, I'm never gonna be good enough, I feel shame, I feel like a failure, I feel like she's always pointing out my flaws, I just don't wanna face up to being told all the ways that I'm failing her again, okay? It's never good enough, whatever I do is never good enough. And for a hailstorming person, their underlying fear is loneliness. I feel lonely. I'm not sure we're a team. I'm not sure my feelings or my thoughts matter to you. Okay. So if you are the hailstorm, the way to connect with your turtle is instead of hailstorming, think about what is their underlying fear. They're scared that they're not good enough, that they're always going to fail you and that you're always going to be disappointed or complaining about something that they didn't do or should have done, right? So now you know their fear. The best way to connect is through touch and through appreciation. So the golden rule for both parties is to connect before you correct. Okay, this, is, this applies to any relationship, whether it's with your mom or your student or your child or your sibling, colleague, doesn't matter. Connect before you correct. The way to connect with a turtle is by using soothing touch because they, they are overwhelmed. Words make things worse. So all of your rational complaining and explaining is not going to dent them at all. In fact, it's going to have them shut down even more. So soothing touch and verbal, honest, genuine appreciation for something that they did do that you're grateful for. Okay, then you can bring up the thing that you're worried about and I'll tell you how to do that. But first connect and this is the way to connect with us with the turtle. Now, if your spouse is a hailstorm, the best way to connect with them is when they're not hailstorming, when things are okay, be interested in his or her inner world. Ask about work, ask about, you know, what their plans are for the weekend. What are they worried about? How are things going with your dad? I know he was sick and how are you doing with that? Be interested genuinely in his or her thoughts and experiences. And another way to do that, connect with your hailstorm, is to show your hailstorm that you're a team. Because one of their fears is loneliness, feeling like they're in this all by themselves, that they have to bear the weight and the burden, the responsibilities of running a family. So share that burden, show them that you're a team. You can do this any number of ways, right? You might give them a massage, you might do the dishes, you might um, you know, make dinner as a surprise. Maybe you're home one day earlier than your spouse. Clean the bathrooms, right? Do something here and there as a additional surprise element that in some way shows your spouse that he or she is not alone, okay? So those are extra tips for you to connect before you correct whether you're a turtle or you're a hailstorm. The way, the, the, one of the acronyms that I teach my private clients is AAA. Acknowledge, affection, and appreciation. When your spouse is walking in after a long day of work, acknowledge them. If your wife says, hey, look at the snow outside, it's crazy. It's, you know, it's already April, why is it still snowing? Say something, she's trying to connect with you, right? You might, you don't have to sit and talk about the snow for an hour, 
but at least acknowledge and say, yeah, it's a crazy snowstorm, huh? When your husband, you know, helps your son with math homework, acknowledge him. Acknowledge. Affection. Touch one another. Non-sexual touch is one of the biggest indicators of relationship happiness. So go out of your way to hug your spouse, give them a kiss, ruffle his hair, you know, massage her neck while you're sitting together. And the third one is appreciation. Look for things that your partner is doing, whether it's for you or maybe they did something nice for a neighbor or for a colleague or for your son or for um, at work. Look for ways that they are doing things well and say that you noticed. Appreciate that. Okay. So trust and deep affection comes from answering the question for your spouse. That is the basis of all power struggle, which is, are you there for me? Can I rely on you? Do you love me despite my flaws? Will you, you know, be the soft spot for me to land? Will you talk me up to other people? These are the underlying questions that both of you are caught up in. And you have to answer that for your spouse. When you do, they will answer it back for you. Okay, so hailstorm or turtle, think about what their underlying fear is. Know how to connect to the hailstorm, know how to connect to the turtle. Remember connection before correction and use the AAA analogy to be able to connect tonight. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna talk a little bit about communication, where it breaks down, and what are some easy ways that you can align your communication so that your spouse actually is interested in what you have to say and wants to open up and share what's going on for them too without getting into um, you know, conflict and yelling and arguments and shutting down and all of these things that make us feel hopeless. So that's the next video. Keep your eyes peeled and I look forward to seeing you there. Bye-bye.